Hi, this is Steve, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the always on cue. What is it, and when does it come into play? And that's what we're about to find out. Firstly, we need to look at the conversations that we've got coming into the Unity Contact Center and split them into those that are real time and non real time. Clearly, when you're taking a call in to a, a Broadsoft ACD queue, that's a real time communication. The call is either answered, of course, by an agent, or it can be overflowed or the customer can abandon. So if they're waiting in the queue, they're not getting picked up, they hang up the phone, and of course that's an abandoned call. The same rules apply with the omnichannel conversations we're taking in. So if we look at uh, web chat, that's of course clearly real time. There is somebody on the website that started a chat session. Uh, so that's a customer or a prospective customer. They've started the chat and they want to get picked up in a timely fashion by the agent. So when you're building uh, the routing phase for the web chat, when you're setting it up for the customer, of course, you're going to have overflows like you would for a voice queue. So after sort of 30 seconds, and in other words, not a long time, customers don't want to be waiting too long, waiting for an agent to pick up the chat and respond. So you're going to overflow it. You're going to cascade it around to different agents, whatever the customer wants to do. But of course, it's either being answered or it's, uh, it's exhausting those routing phases and then the remote parties play the message saying, sorry, we'll get back to you later or of course it can be abandoned. So much like a voice call, if the if the remote party on the website, uh, if it's too long and they navigate away, they close the chat, the chat's abandoned. So web chat, like voice, that's real time. Everything else we have in the Unity Contact Center, so that's callbacks, emails, uh, SMS coming in, tweets that are coming in, those aren't necessarily real time uh, because it's probably not the expectation that a customer will send an email in to your customer service team and then expect a, an immediate reply. So when you're building um, those automatic replies for things like email, then of course you can uh, have a message, an automatic reply that is saying, thanks for contacting us. We'll get back to you within four hours uh, during business hours. And of course, if they send a message at night, you can say, listen, we'll get back to you within eight hours or whatever the case may be. The point is it's not real time. Let's just have a look at all of these in the Unity portal and we'll just uh, drill into this a little bit more. So this is the contacts in the dashboard. So this is where the customer can see an overview of what's happening in their entire contact center environment. For the purpose of this video, we just want to have a look at this top left panel here. This is a summary of all of the different media streams that the customer has. So if they've got um, 10 different emails and 10 different web chats, they're all compiled here. It's showing us uh, average answer, very straightforward, routing. In other words, what's in the queue? What is going through the routing phases now? Answered is of course those that have been answered and unanswered is one of two different things. This is where we're back to talking about the always on queue. An unanswered web chat is one that's come into the contact center and either uh, it has not been picked up when it's exhausted the routing phase and then it's played a message to the remote party, like I mentioned, saying thanks, we'll get back to you later, or the, the, the uh, remote party, the customer has closed the chat or navigated away. So that would be abandoned. For all of the other media stream types we have here, callback, email, Twitter, and SMS, uh, these are again, not real time. So then they are never abandoned as such. If somebody sends a tweet into the contact center, that's never lost, that will never disappear. So it'll go through the routing phase, whichever's been, whatever's been set up for the customer. And of course it's gonna be answered. If it's not picked up within that initial routing phase, it will then drop into the always on queue. Now that means a couple of things. Firstly, it's going to start incrementing this unanswered column here. And also for all of the agents that are assigned to that particular media stream, that Twitter media stream in this example, the incoming tweet that's unreserved will sit in all of their uh, Unity agent interfaces. The Unity supervisor will also see it as well because uh, they can see all reserved and unreserved conversations of all types coming in. So basically they can see everything that's coming in and, and what's live now. So we've had a, uh, a callback, an email, a tweet or an SMS. It's gone through the routing phase, whatever that is for each one of those media streams. It's not been answered. It's going to start incrementing unanswered. It's in the always on queue. When an agent in whichever media stream it is, picks that up and answers it, it's going to increment answered and it's going to decrease unanswered. So in other words, they're not lost. This is showing me really uh, as an admin looking at this at the high level, which is showing me that perhaps I've got a problem whereby if I've got a number of emails, for example, uh, and they're showing as being unanswered, it means that they've exhausted the routing phase. So if, if, I'm, if I'm saying to uh, 
if I'm saying to replying to emails that are coming in saying thanks for contacting us we'll get back to you in three hours and then I've got the reading phase set up for three hours I can see that actually I'm not meeting that SLA that I'm projecting uh, because they're not being answered within the three hours because if they were they would still be in here because I would set the routing phase up to deliver those emails to agents within three hours so hopefully that makes clear what the always on queue is we also have some notes that explains this in sort of more more detail not going through this in too much uh, right now we'll put a link in the end screen and we're going to share this on the documentation page on the website if there's anything else that you need in regards to the always on queue and how it works please reach out to us thanks